People, I mean, cooking should be fun. If, if, if you're cooking because you're hungry, that's one thing. But if you're cooking because you want to cook at home, then then do do what you want. It's like everyone thinks, you know, red wine. Well, eat, eat and drink what you want. Just just do what you enjoy. Well, I didn't spend sixty thousand dollars of culinary school to to make mashed potatoes. People are becoming more and more accepting and more and more adventurous, and and starting to appreciate it more. Things. I'm a big seafood guy. That's what I like to eat when I'm not working. So I like to work with it as well. I'm doing a sable fish that we uh, we pan roast, and that goes with uh, English pea puree, uh, tempura fried cauliflower, and pomegranate molasses. A little uh, arugula and radish slaw on top. Staff I have is we're all very collaborative. Every single guy in the kitchen has had an impact. Generally, kind of salt of the earth people. We're we got each other's back. There's kind of a, you know, a, a team, a brotherhood, a camaraderie that we try and do everything we can in-house and our heart and souls are into it. So um, going into the restaurant, you should at least know that the people are they're preparing your food really care for it. So um, I would say all-time favorite cookbook, El Richard, Happy in the Kitchen. Um, that's my favorite one. I keep, I've got two copies in the, ki in the uh, office here and one next to my nightstand. So that one, I found that he has kind of mastered what most chefs these days are trying to do. And that's trying to, to take, take a dish, make it complex, but do it in a simple way, if that makes any sense. Yeah, cocktails are a big part of, uh, of, of what we do at Harlow's. We spend a lot of time uh, crafting and creating these, these uh, different cocktails and, and formulas. I mean, we have barrel-aged cocktails that we do, that we, that we do in, uh, in oak barrels. Um, I've got a great team behind the bar between Anna Maria and, uh, and Hoover. Uh, they're both pretty accomplished uh, mixologists, if you want to call them, but, but they spend a lot of time and they're very creative. So. And it piggybacks off each other, you know what I mean? They, uh, they're always asking me what's seasonal and, and we kind of try and piggyback off of what we're doing on the menu to kind of coincide with that. And uh, who doesn't like a cocktail? Uh -huh.